Happy first day of spring skiers and riders. Hope you're ready for a great kickoff to the spring season today. It's going to be a great day out there. High pressure in control, as you can see on that surface map there. And this weather is brought to you by Geppettos. Find them in Village West. Anytime, day or night, they're the place to be. Mostly sunny skies for the day today. High temperatures at the summit right in the upper 20s and mid to upper 30s down here on the base with a light north-northwest wind, 12 to 20 up towards the top, and 10 to 16 down here around the base. So barely noticeable. Get out there, enjoy yourself, bring that sunscreen and those mirrored goggles. you have a great time today. Partly sunny skies continue for the day on Tuesday, especially in the morning. We'll see clouds in the afternoon, could see some afternoon flurries. High temperatures getting up into the upper 30s at the base and upper 20s at the uh, summit Wednesday and Thursday. We'll hold on uh, to some partly cloudy, partly sunny skies out there. Very cold on Wednesday, below average, minus uh, eight up top of the mountain and in the single digits down here around the base. So dress for that, and then things will start to moderate back to where they should be later in the week. Birchwood Interiors brings this trail report. 139 trails of ski and ride on nine lifts getting into those runs. 58 trails groomed last night. Packed powder and hard packed conditions. And also want to let you know that narrow gauge is closed all week for race prep. Tote Road, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Upper Binder, King's Landing and Hayburner, as well as Gandhi Line, Comp Hill, Narrow Gauge, Sluice, Lower Spillway and Wedge on the scheduled grooming list last night, as well as all of the trails around the base area. Uh, over on the east side of the mountain, Flume, Widowmaker, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, as well as Cruiser, all smoothed out and on the west side, Scoot and Good Chance, as well as all the terrain parks. Moose Alley did get groomed out as well, so if you've got kids, check that out and they usually get off of the east side last thing in the morning so that's usually the freshest groom so go check that out first thing and it's always a good thing to follow the sun as well this time of year from the east side to the west side during the day snubber skidway and sawduster those are the lifts around the base area that will get you going in the morning if you just learn to ski or ride double runner west will get you a little higher on the hill at 8 30 as well for runs down boardwalk and lower winter's way um as well as drop you off right at the base of the Skyline Quad, which gets you up to the Spillway Crosscut, which allows you to branch out all over the mountain for all abilities. And Super Quad gets going at 8.30 as well. A nice fast lift to get you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain, including Bullwinkles, which should be a happening place today, especially out on the deck. King Pine and Wiffletree, those get going at 9 a.m. this morning. They service the east sides of the mountain, more expert terrain and entrance to Bracket Basin up off of King Pine. And Wiffletree is a more mellow area for intermediate skiers, and it's great for kids as Moose Alley's there as well as the Beginner Terrain Park. And Timberline, that'll get going today at 9 o'clock as well. You see some great views from the summit. Go up there and hang out and check out the surrounding areas. And if you're a beginner skier, you can still go up there and take the Timberline Trail down. Plenty of cross-country skiing and snowshoeing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Take advantage of that. They'll be open for the next few weeks. And they've also got some great deals at the Nordic uh, Shop as well. And great eats at the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe. Tonight is Chase's Trivia down at the Rack. They'll have music tomorrow as well. But they open at 4. They're open 7 days a week. They serve dinner until 9.30. They get some great barbecue, a great apres scene, and just a great atmosphere. So go check out the Rack at the bottom of the Access Road. And check out the Ski Depot on your way or on your way home right on Route 4 in J. You can find them online as well. Ski-Depot.com and RaceSkis.com. They've got the best deals around. Uh, so go check them out. Ski Depot in J. Maine. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where you'll find us on social media. You'll also find us online at W WSKITV.com. We've got this latest local forecast and much more, including our time-lapse photography camera on there. So you can see exactly what the conditions are like, what's happening at the base of the Super Quad anytime, day or night. Check that out on the Quad Cam button on our website. Lots of videos on there, turning guests into locals year-round with info to know before you go.